Hey, what's up YouTube? Fearblaze here for you guys, another episode of these survival games, but this is an over-voiced video or whatever, post-commentary, yeah, that's what the cool kids call it. As you guys can see, oh, I just hit my hands on my table, um, but as you guys can see, this is a 60 FPS shaders video, yeah. So, I was sitting here one day and I was like, alright, I made that video on 60 FPS, and I really wanted to give it a shot, uploading 160 FPS video, just so you guys can see what it's like, what it entails, and what it looks like versus 30 FPS. Now, I do want to tell you guys now, this is probably a once in a long time thing, because my computer, to render this out, I guarantee you, I haven't rendered it obviously, but it's going to take forever to render out, and it's going to take forever to upload. It took me two hours and... 10 minutes or something like that, to upload the 60 FPS video before. Well, the video talking about 60 FPS, rather. And yeah, this is probably going to take like 5 hours. But hopefully you guys do like it. Hopefully you guys can take in the beauty and see how beautiful Minecraft looks in 60 FPS with shaders on too. Plus, running the shaders pack was really awkward because it was a really good shaders pack. I think it was the... I don't even know the name of it, to be honest. But it's a really, really nice one, as you guys can see. And it was really taking out of my computer and my frames and stuff. So I had to turn off animations, but I kept water animations on and fire animations on. But everything else was off all other animations, and I was getting a solid 80-ish frames. But the thing is, when you guys play at Shaders, you realize that it says you get 80 frames, but it does not feel like it. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. So, my PvP was a lot off in this video, as you guys will see later on. I don't want to spoil anything, because it's still pretty good gameplay, in all honesty. For lagging and just not being able to play smoothly, it looks smooth, but playing at 600 frames usual... Not 600, I'm over-exaggerating. Playing at a consistent 300 frames, and then going down to that, is a lot. Plus, just... I don't know why. Maybe it's just shaders that makes it feel weird. But it felt really, really weird. But it was a decent game overall. Okay, so I guess I'm just going to talk about random things and random updates this video. And kind of just catch up while you guys take in the beauty and watch the background of the 60 FPS MCSG game PvP XX Pro Felix Blaze. Just kidding, I suck. Okay, so first off, you guys have probably seen that I've been uploading a lot of Shell and a lot of MCSG SG lately. And I want to thank you guys, by the way, for leaving tons of support on all the videos. I think we hit 50 likes, 3 vids in a row or something like that. And that is absolutely outstanding. If you guys keep on doing that, that would be absolutely amazing. And I greatly appreciate it. But I'm probably going to do every other day SG and Shell for a long time. Because I really like SG, I really like Shell, and I can't choose between them. And I want to upload them equally. Because I really want to get ahead in the Shell episodes and get to episode 100, hopefully, one day. And in order to do that, we gotta keep on pumping them out. Plus, I'm really enjoying it at the moment. And SG has always been super fun for me, and I'm gonna start throwing in a bunch of collabs and solos, and really mixing it up a lot. So you guys will see, and let's just say three SGs a week, three shells a week, and one out of the three will hopefully be a collab SG, unless I can't get anybody on to record with me. But that's the plan for that. I do wanna eventually start throwing in some bad lines as well. But again, bad lines for me, for those of you who don't know, are the really controversial topics. Just topics that really, they push your buttons, they confuse you. That's what I like doing bad line topics on. I think I did one like about uh, your parents and your friends at school knowing if you do YouTube or not. And that was a good topic, at least in my mind, because I thought, hey, you know, a lot of people probably don't tell their parents and friends that they do YouTube. And I know I don't. Well, my parents know, but I don't tell my friends that I do YouTube. So maybe we should talk about this. See what you guys do and kind of relate it back to me but that's what i like doing for bad line so if you guys have any topic ideas for that type of deal let me know but as of now i do not have any so it's just going to be those two because those are the only two series on my channel it's sg and then we have show then we have uac highlights which i really want to slow down on which i will talk about that later on maybe i'll do that in a bad line because i really want to talk about highlights and things like that but i'll get onto that so I have those three, then I have Spoon UHC, and I have Badline. Those are my five series on my channel. And out of the five, Shell and SG are daily series. Highlights are like monthly, and Badline just whenever a topic comes out, and then Spoon whenever Spoon season's out. So I only have two series, but you guys are enjoying them, which is amazing. So it's working out pretty well. Let's see, in this part of the gameplay, where was I? 
Oh yeah, this part gets annoying. It's just like a bunch of full iron guys running around in circles chasing each other and everybody's scared because it's like a three-way and nobody wants to be that one to fight because then you're going to get cleaned up. It's so awkward at this point. But I really did enjoy this game a lot and I do want to start doing these as little specials here and there just so you guys can get the, I don't know, like the scenic view, just like the oomph when you look at it and it's like, oh yeah, that looks so pretty. Oh, that, you know, that Minecraft is so hot, you know, that type of deal. But I can't do them too, too often because I'm not going to lie to you guys. To get an SG recording, it takes me a solid four or five attempts regardless. Especially like with Timmy, cough, cough. But solo with shaders on. Especially how demanding it is on your computer. It makes it a lot more difficult to get. So this took me a solid 10 tries. And on top of that, I wasn't even tryharding and commentating. I was just sitting there talking to the shell guys, relaxing and playing SG. Trying to get a background gameplay. And this was the best I could pull out of. Again, it's not my best, and you guys could probably tell, but I kind of just wanted to show it off, and I thought it was a decent gameplay for a Shaders one. And, you know, for me, of course, because I don't... I'm not an MCSG tryhard, and I don't play with Shaders a lot, and when I do put it on, it feels so much different. But, what else, what else, what else? Oh, yeah, um, so... Oh, my gosh, I just hit my mic. Hopefully, you guys didn't hear that. I'm sorry. But... Some IRL things are going on, and I'm going to have a lot more time to record and things like that. Because if you guys did not know, I take a couple of classes in school. I take three classes, which were mandatory, and the rest were kind of just filler classes. And I'm going to be clearing up my schedule a lot. So I will have a lot, a lot more free time to record and get good videos out for you guys. Because I know a lot of the times I have to rush SGs. And upload not the best ones, but not the worst. They're kind of just like the meh games. I'm not saying they're terrible, because I would never upload a bad game of SG or anything. Or even Shell. I always put effort in, but when you have more time, you put extra effort in. So hopefully, once I get my schedule cleared up, I will have more time to get those good SG games. And, you know, try hard SG and get better at the game. And I will talk about that, what the school plan is. Because I actually want to let you guys know about this. It's actually an interesting story and stuff like that. I was really noting these things down because I noticed I mentioned a lot of things during my videos, but I always forgot to say them. Like school is one, and then I said I'd talk about something else during a bad line, but I can't remember what that thing is, and it sucks. I just wrote it down though. So if I remember what that bad line is, if you guys see a bad line in the future, you'll remember, but if not, that means I totally forgot and I was too lazy to watch back the video and see what I meant. Oh, that's where I wrecked that guy in full iron. Get wrecked, kid. Get wrecked, kid. Right from behind with like the 7 hit combo. Oh, this is where the gameplay got juicy. Four of us left. In all honesty, guys, I am not a big fan of post commentary. Because Slops, for example, he does topic videos. Where he just goes on about a topic. So I would say post commentary would be good for him. Because it suits him better with what he does. My style of commentary is a lot different. As in, I usually have something to talk about. But not that in depth where it's just like hey sit down shut up topic time it's more like little bit of topic little bit of topic hardcore gameplay hardcore gameplay talk about the gameplay little bit of topic little bit of topic get distracted gameplay 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 game over that's how i usually roll and talking over it, it's weird because i feel like i can't talk about the gameplay <laughs> and i need to talk about the topic but i got everything out that i need to but quick recap of everything i gave you guys a series i'm going to do I informed you guys of two videos you should be upcoming, an SG about school and a bad lion on a topic that I need to watch this video back and see what I said it was about. But I'm probably going to talk about the gameplay for the rest of this video and give this a shot. Okay, does this work out weird? And this ending is super duper weird. So those two guys fought in the back in full iron and I was like, uh oh, cleanup time, sweet. So I'm sitting here like, okay, he's low. I saw him getting hit from the distance. I just got to lay some hits on him. I get about three hits on him right there and he starts running away. And then, frankly, the sun is right there in my eyes in the shader spec, so I cannot see a thing while I'm chasing this guy. But I knew he was low. And right now, guys, if you guys have a guess of how many hearts he was on, just think of it in your head right now. Like, how many hearts could that guy be at? I hit him three times, and he was fighting the other guy, and he did not need a golden apple, I don't think. So I start shooting at him, and my aim is terrible because there's a sun in my eyes, and I'm just trying to get some shots off, but it's not happening. We go into D-match. My thought is, all right, you know what? This guy probably finished the fight with that guy at, eh, five hearts. Hit him three times. He's probably at one heart running away from us. And here we are. What is he probably at? Four hearts, maybe? Maybe five hearts? 
I hit him once, he hits me, wait, twice, three, four. I hit him four times, he hits me maybe six, and he gets the kill. Cray Cray, IDK. We'll leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.